am I correct in saying we don't to date, and TAME we will talk about in a moment, but we don't to date have any clean example of a study that demonstrate uh, metformin's Giro protection. Look, you're right. In humans, you you can say it on many studies, but it's certainly true with diabetes. Diabetes is a problem because it's a progressive disease, no matter what. And and, and you can go and go back to the data and show whether the people who were metformin from the beginning versus other have done better, and whether it stops. And there there's a lot of 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 things. But first of all, you're right. You're also right about we had this discussion about the mortality data and you pointed out that maybe the control were not controlled enough for getting them out for some reason you watch them all the time you're absolutely right even even the clinical uh, studies are not perfect studies but there are still enough of clinical studies or small studies that gives you the confidence so For example, there are two studies on people with mild cognitive impairment that were treated with metformin, one for half a year and one for one year, and some of the outcomes have changed. And there is no difference in how they were treated. Um, You know, in other words, they didn't have diabetes, so it's not that they switched to other medication. So there there are lots of examples like that, but you are right. if if this was compelling, if this was compelling on its own, um, you could argue we wouldn't have to have tame even, right? Um, and really, tame is not about it's not that we there were not studies for each one of the diseases, but there was no studies to be agnostic of the diseases. Okay, we we don't care. Look, we're targeting aging. We don't care what disease you have, and we don't care which disease you're going to take yep. to get. If you're obese and your mother is diabetes, you're going to get diabetic next. We have to think in geroscience that aging is going to drive your next disease. Yeah. Yep. And therefore, it's the cluster that is going to, to count, and we're counting the clusters. By the way, we had this discussion about mortality. Um, Mortality, you get a point for mortality, just like you get a point for a disease. And the important thing of the cluster is that we cannot do TAME study. Imagine we do a TAME study, and in two years, cardiovascular disease comes up as as significant. And the As FDA, in significant reduction of cardiovascular right. mortality. Yeah. And the FDA will say, hey, we have to stop the study because we cannot go with the study when with placebo, right? And it will ruin it for us. So the whole, the whole problem of the statistics of TAME is to make sure that we're not getting to any significant in any disease, just to trends. And that the only way to stop, by the way, the one, one way to stop the study is if mortality is significant. That will trigger a stoppage of the study. Otherwise, what will stop the study is the integral approach of right. so, the cluster. So statistically, disease. you just can't, your biggest mistake here is overpowering the study for mortality and therefore appropriately powering the study for subs, subsets of mortality. Right. Yes, is that, well, is that a subs- safe assessment? Substance yeah. of mortality, you mean diseases? Disease specific yeah. mortality is what I mean, yes. Well, let, let's talk a little bit about TAME. This is something you and I spoke about, God, two years ago. Um, so this is a study that is going to look at people who do not have type two diabetes. Right, it's an exclusion criteria. And they are over the age of 65? 65 to 79. Okay, so 65 to 79, no diabetes, no type two diabetes, any other exclusion criteria? Yes, but it's not important for our discussion. So if you have cancer in the last year, okay, things like that, yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. very okay. specific. If you had a heart attack in the last three months, you know. But again, these people are going to be taking statins. They're going to be taking medication for blood pressure. Some of them will be overweight. Some of them will be normal weight, presumably. Right. The, the, point, the point here, though, is that 
Look, we don't want to recruit a bunch of centenarians to be yeah. in our you don't study. want to be you don't want to recruit future centenarians here. So, it's not going to be, right. you're not going to get so, an answer. So they have to have something, okay? Mm -hmm. They have to have, for example, walking speed less than six uh, uh, meter, you know, per, per second is is a, a an inclusion criteria. You have to have something. I that see. Shows so you don't you want age. you don't want exceptionally fit people in this group, right? You know, it's almost like you want to take the patient population that Predimed started with because this was a primary prevention study for cardiovascular disease that found a statistical significant difference in under five years. I think it was four and a half years. They expected to go for seven. Um, so so it's you're really looking for that type of population. You, you, you really do want people who are going to, I mean, it's morbid to say this, but you're looking for people whose risk of death in the next five years is is high enough that you're going to move the needle. Now, the the risk of that is you get a negative study, which means there is no difference in all-cause mortality or even disease-specific mortality. And the counter argument might be you started too late. You know, that's like applying the brakes on a car that's driving towards a cliff when it's only 20 feet from the cliff. Should this be a lo longer study where you start this at people when they're 50, and your your five year mortality expectation is very low. Again, I'm not saying this can be done because that's a very expensive study, but it is a risk here, correct? There are two arguments here. Uh, you know, for, first of all, we needed to do look to st to start a study at 50, where you have to show mortality is a 20 year study. We 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 cannot afford it, right? So we needed to start it when people are starting to accumulate disease in order yeah. for us to have lots of uh, events. Our hypothesis is that the, the aging part of your biology doesn't stop working when you had your first disease. It's still going to get your mm -hmm. next disease, okay? And if we think biologically like that, we should be able to intervene as we do with animals quite late also. Uh, so th th that's, that's one thing. The second thing is there are metformin studies which included elderly people. For example, the DPP. The DPP, by the way, got 20% uh, funding from the NIA in order to include 20% of the subjects over the age of 65 which they didn't. They had 20% over the age of 60, but there's still people over the age of 65. And, and their results were similar in prevention diabetes to, uh, to younger people. So it's an example, but we have several other studies that tells us that metformin will still target aging even if you started it. It's not It's not that the first disease canceled. <laughs> yeah, it just means that you have a lower period to apply the brakes on. And it suggests that if, if TAME shows a reduction in all-cause mortality in a subset of people so old, in quotes, um, because it, when I say so old, meaning in five years is really what I'm saying, um, it would suggest biologically that there would be a benefit to starting sooner but of course then the question goes back to our original discussion how soon so peter you 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 said uh, an endpoint of mortality in tame uh, there could be only trend of mortality uh, so i'm sorry i, I mean, misunderstood what is what is the primary outcome of tame it's the cluster of bunch of cardiovascular cancer cognitive and mortality it's the cluster I okay see. you get one point for each one i see so let's define them again. So you get one point if you die. You, right. For everyone. You get one, one for, point if you have a major adverse cardiac event. Right. One cancer, point if you have a cancer occurrence or recurrence. Except skin cancer, right. And, okay. and MCI or dementia. Got it. Do you have any points for health span outcomes such as frailty, falling, breaking hips? This is in the 70 million program, okay? So, so let me explain. We would like to start longitudinal study where we capture a lot of the other health span issues. You know, hospitalization and yeah. function and depression and all that. Um, we are still powered to do it at the end of the study or, or as the study goes on. 
we probably wouldn't have money to do it longitudinally through the whole study, but we have power at the end of the study to see if there are difference in frailty, etc. Just a, st- a statistical question. Why is mortality given equal weighting to disease occurrence? Is there a reason that mortality wouldn't be three points to one point for MCI, MACE, and cancer? Well, it was questioned for each one of them. Uh, and we decided just that... Uh, hmm that we we cannot rationalize that everyone is an outcome you know we we basically said those are the outcomes (laughs) we don't know which one you're going you're going to get an outcome you're going to get the point for that all right it's by the way it's the time until of course right yeah it's the time you're moving yeah you're moving health health span This podcast is for general informational purposes only and does not constitute the practice of medicine, nursing, or other professional healthcare services, including the giving of medical advice. No doctor-patient relationship is formed. The use of this information and the materials linked to this podcast is at the user's own risk. The content on this podcast is not intended to be a substitute for professional medical advice, diagnosis, or treatment. Users should not disregard or delay in obtaining medical advice from any medical condition they have, and they should seek the assistance of their healthcare professionals for any such conditions. Finally, I take conflicts of interest very seriously. For all of my disclosures and the companies I invest in or advise, please visit peteratiamd.com forward slash about, where I keep an up-to-date and active list of such companies.